somebody doing some lying, telling stories. Let's investigate. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another video. Whoa, whoa. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button, thumbs up, share the video, leave, go, just go ahead and leave the comment in the first 20 seconds of the video because why not? Let's start something new. Go ahead and find me on all my other socials, in particular TikTok, because I'd be ticking and talking. Um, TikTok with me, duets, share the talks, listen to the podcast, tweet me, all this good stuff. Okay. I have questions and maybe some of you all can help me figure out what is going on because apparently um not that many of us care about what's really going on and getting to the bottom of it but if it's anything that we do over here we we have to investigate we have to put our nose into places where it doesn't belong and and and, and we have to come up with the conspiracies we have to debunk we have to ask the hard questions so let's you and i Put our brains together and see, you know, what can we figure out? Let's get everybody on the same page and bring everyone up to speed. So we have a couple of influencers. Well, not four, but, you know, two. Ladimi and Denzel Dion. So, apparently, there was a birthday party on, on Friday. Now, look, I know y'all seen her when I write, she know you're not going to make the video about the Will Smith and the son. Uh, No, I, Ladimi and Denzel Dion. Okay, so there was a party for a, a Winnie Harlow. She had a birthday party last Friday, and at this birthday party, at some point in time at the party, it seems like it was at the end. Supposedly, allegedly, um, there was an altercation between Denzel Dion and Ladimi, who were two pretty popular popping influencers Ladimi a woman Denzel a man so I know you're wondering Chanel why would a man fight a woman was it a hate crime considering Ladimi is a tra openly trans woman um the news broke Ladimi says that there was an altercation and that I'm gonna sum it up. Y'all want all the details? You go read specifically what homegirl said. But Ladimi says there was an altercation. She she is alluding to that Denzel was jealous of her because Ladimi was speaking to a really good friend, a best friend, uh, this this boy Max, I believe his name is. And Ladimi says that Denzel has some issues with her because of the relationship she has with his best friend. Not to be confused with the Ricky Thompson, different best friend apparently. Um, one thing led to another, words were exchanged, and uh, she is allegedly saying that Denzel Millie rocked her, you know what I'm saying, or Chris rocked her, you know, look, okay, sorry, look, I said I wasn't going to talk about that, and I'm not. And your next question is, Chanel, where's the video footage? Where was the cameras? Where, where's, where are the vloggers? Okay, we are talking about a party that was in the hills with a bunch of influencers and celebrities, and there's no video footage of this, of this young woman being beat up by a man. Not to say that there's not. Maybe somebody might be holding out for the highest bidder. I don't know. I don't know who did it. I don't know if Lil Demi was... Of course, it was alcohol involved. Because, right? I don't know if Lil Demi was confused and she just blamed it on Den Denzel because of the history that they had. I don't know if she's making it up. Now, the girl was clearly attacked. Here's what I think happened. I do think that there was some words exchanged between Ladimi and Denzel Dion. I do think that. Do I think that he ripped her wig off and, and, and did just completely beat this woman the way that she claims? No, this is what I think would happen. I think that it, there was a heated argument and they were at the top of some stairs. You know, you in the hills on some steep steps, you know? And I think that homegirl fell. Now, was Humpty Dumpty pushed? I don't know. But I don't think that, no, I don't put nothing past nobody. But I don't think that 
he just, I don't think he meant for her to get hurt like that. Um, do you need to be arguing and doing all these things? No. Um, did he need to put his hands on her at all? No. Whoever did it, charges need to be pressed. Now, Demi has said some things in her story that were contradicting of each other. At first, it seemed like she didn't know who it was. Then all of a sudden, she could name somebody. Uh, could that have been because maybe was she afraid to name her attacker, alleged attacker? Um, could it be because she she saw that oh I can I can tarnish this black man's reputation and by the time they figure out I'm lying the damage will have already been done. Um, so it, it could be very much that. Um, maybe someone thought that it was Denzel and told her this and she just ran with it without fact checking. Um, the other thing that's kind of confusing to me is that Denzel normally be popping off. And normally if somebody's, somebody's saying something like this of this caliber against your reputation and all you can do is like a whole like day later, day and a half later, all Denzel did was put a little, uh, one of those little notepad notes and tweeted it out. Maybe put it on Instagram as well, saying it, basically saying it wasn't me. Is that because it was only your friends around? From what I can understand, LaDemi was leaving a party. All of her friends had left. She was there waiting for her Uber. And Denzel was exiting the party as well. They, were at, they weren't actually, I guess, at the, the home that the party was being held. They were at the bottom, going towards the bottom of the hill. And LaDemi was without friends. And there was no one else around but Denzel. Y'all see where I'm going with this? So did Denzel, is he saying he didn't do it because no one else was around but his cronies and his cronies got together and figured out, hey, it was only yes around. So if we all say that you didn't do it, no face, no case. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just find it really odd that Denzel, if you know anything about him, he, he's very vocal. He, he, he hardly don't bite his tongue for nothing. And all you got to say is a little note that says, oh, it wasn't me. And nobody else has anything else to say. Uh, because if somebody's coming on my name like that, saying that where I'm facing jail time, I'm facing fines, I'm facing just complete just disruption of my career. Uh, because you, you want to paint this facade as, oh, this big black man, this big black man hurt me and I'm a trans woman and da, da, da. Um, I'm suing for defamation of character and anything else. I, I'm suing. I'm not just going to put a little note and say it, it wasn't me. That's a little odd to me. That's why I think, I think that... I think that both things are true. I don't think he, he just went and went boop, 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 boop. I think that it got heated and she she fell and it was a little maybe a little, little worse. Then he wasn't trying to hurt the girl that didn't attack her, maybe just verbally. But he knows that even if he says that, he's going to get in trouble for the whole, for the whole gig. At the end of the day, somebody did attack this girl. She does have receipts of, she's pretty banged up, and, and she showed the little pieces of her wig that was all ripped up. So somebody needs to be in trouble, because all jokes aside, this is a big issue with trans women. Just, uh, they're young, just not protected. And, you know, I, I, I you know, if it was anybody around, and they just kind of watched this happen, uh, shame on them. Uh, you should never watch a human being be brutally attacked like that. Um, so whether it was Denzel or someone else, someone needs to find this person and they need to be uh, arrested. They pr Charges need to be pressed against someone and whatever happened to this young woman. Now, I don't know too much about Lil Demi. I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. Some people say that she, she a little messy. So she could have fabricated this whole thing, but um, it's just very odd that the news broke and there hasn't really been much more talked about here. I'm thinking some things are being legally handled in the background, um, but we deserve answers. I want answers because, you know, it's just, it's really, it's not safe out here for anyone. And, um, 
whatever the case. I hope that, that they were not out here fighting over some boy. <laughs> um, but it's very odd that we are at a celebrity influencer party and there's no videos or pictures that have been released. That's why I'm thinking, I think that legal has already been involved and has said, has said do not release any videos or photos that you may have please just send them to the police i think they contact anyone who's at this party because this was a celebrity party i'm pretty sure the guest list was tight and so they were probably able to contact anyone who was there it's just all very suspicious and we want answers and uh let's protect protect everyone but let's try to do more to protect trans women especially trans women of color and uh denzel baby i hope you didn't do that um I hope you didn't do that, I, but I would believe in innocent until proven guilty, but you, you not, you don't look innocent, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, we, we need, we, we need answers, and we are going to be waiting, we are going to be waiting. Anyways, that's all I have to talk about today. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Do you think LaDemi's lying? Do you think Denzel's lying? Do you think that, I mean, do you think that it's all completely fake? Anyways, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big fat big thumbs up. Share the video and come find me on all of my other socials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Also, don't forget there is a podcast. Okay, and season two starting back very, very soon. Season two, season two, that's right. There's already a whole season one of the podcast everywhere. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcast, <laughs> it's there. Links in the description below. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so, um, love you so much, bye.